For your final house plan project, you have to set up the Revit file the proper way. Make sure that you read the final house plan project assignment because you do have to stick to certain constraints. If you would like to browse house plans online to kind of get some ideas, uh, coolhouseplans.com is a good one to use. You can actually put in 1,800 square feet, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and you can kind of see some different plans so you can uh, get some ideas of what you would like to lay out for your house design. So first, at the splash screen of Revit, we're going to go to New, and then we have to Browse. When we browse out to the templates, you need to choose Residential Default. Residential Default until that open. Make sure that you are creating a new project, not project template. No, no, no. Make sure it is project and then tell this OK. You can use your Southport house as a guide so you'll know what to create, um, which levels you can delete um, to set up different schedules to make your wall section. You can use the, the videos that we use to make the Southport house to help you make your house plan set. This will take you about a month and a half to do. So you have to come up with the design, you have to lay out all the furniture, you have to label the rooms, you have to dimension the house, you have to crop out your views, you have to create your elevations, your topo surface, your um, renderings, your door and window schedules, your wall section, your house plan sheets. So you have guides to do all of that. So at this point, the first thing you'll start to do is make your walls. And this house can either be a brick exterior or a siding exterior. You can use brick or wood siding on wood stud. Do not use the shingles. This is for a two-story house and we're not doing a two-story house. So either wood siding on wood stud or brick on wood stud. When you place your wall, remember eight feet is the height of your exterior walls and you want to place them Finish, finish face exterior. Okay. You also need to set up your units. So go to your manage tab, project units, and you want to change the rounding to the nearest inch. So when you start drawing in your walls, it's not going to give you a 30 second of an inch. So use your Southport house as a guide to make your final house plan set. So I will be checking in with you periodically and kind of guiding you through, okay, you need to have this part done. Now you should have this part finished because you're going to have to self-pace. So when this is due in May, that you have everything finished because this is going to be the majority of your nine weeks grade. So save often, email me any questions. You have my um, number to text me any questions. I can help you in any way along the way. If you want to run an idea of, hey, do you think this will look fine for my rooms by me, that is perfectly fine. So I'll be checking in periodically I know you're all going to do a great job, and um, remember, do some research first. Look at different plans. Think about what you'd like to have. You have to keep it within 1,800 square feet, so keep placing those room tags and leave your square footage on for right now and add some things up because some people just start drawing it, and then they end up with a 6,000 square foot house and somehow in the middle of their plan that they have been working on for 
four weeks, they have to redo the whole thing because they did not check their square footage. So take your time, do a great job, email me if you have any questions.